Any program that's designed specifically for weight loss isn't sustainable by definition. At some point in time, you're going to lose the weight, then what do you do? You either stop what you're doing, which then means the weight's going to come back off again, or you keep going, and now you're getting into a realm of malnourishment, overtraining, or something else that's going to throw you off and make you unhealthy, and you got to start back up, and you got to gain the weight back, because now you're underweight, you're undernourished, you're overtrained, you're hurt all the time, you're metabolically dysfunctional on the opposite spectrum. Instead of being overweight, now you're under everything else. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. What's going on everybody? It's Coach Bronson here. Did you know that there is no such thing as a healthy body weight? You can be healthy or unhealthy at a lot of different stages of your weight loss or weight gain process. Some people need to gain weight to get healthy. Some people need to lose weight to get healthy, but attaining a specific weight doesn't determine your status of health. All right, let's talk about what that is. But before we do talk about that, I want to remind you guys to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please click the bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. And most importantly, share my channel with anybody you think could benefit from information that will help them filter what is out there in the massive information and in the massive social media to help them improve their quality of life, figure out what is going to apply to them in the most impactful way uh, that they can implement the easiest and simplest way possible. That's what this is all about. How can we take all the information that's out there, boil it down to things that are easy to implement that you can do for a long time and see the most results from it? All right, and that's what this this topic about this is about. I want you to understand that the weight that you're shooting for isn't that important. This is a thing that a lot of people probably don't want to hear. This is a thing that doesn't sell when it comes to marketing programs, when it comes to a lot of the information that people talk about. In the idea, you might might have heard the heard coaches talk about, heard people talk about the tell them what they want to hear, then give them what they need. That's a huge philosophy in the health and fitness space because nobody wants to hear what they actually need. They want to hear that you can help them get what they want, what they think they want. What they think they want is they want to look sexy. They want to look good naked. They want to lose some weight. They want to feel better about themselves, all those things. The actual solution to getting all of those things is not the thing that you need. The thing that you need is always deeper, it's more foundational, it's more conceptual, and it's more basic in fixing the reason you have the extra weight, in fixing the reason you don't have the fitness that you have, and the health, and the function, and all those other things. When we're talking about weight loss specifically, it is the most common thing that people are looking for when they come work with me or most other fitness or health or wellness coaches or individuals. Some people will follow that mantra that I just talked about. Sell them what they want, give them what they need. Some people, fortunately, whether it's through incompetence or ignorance or just um, they don't care, they just want to sell stuff, which is highly likely, they'll just sell fat loss or weight loss and keep selling it because it's not sustainable. And the solutions that they're selling, they end up in most cases blaming the lack of sustainability or longevity in the solution on the client's lack of willpower or discipline, not on the program. The program itself, any program that's designed specifically for weight loss isn't sustainable by definition. Okay, you're, at some point in time, you're going to lose the weight, then what do you do? Right? You either stop what you're doing, which then means the weight's going to come back off again, or you keep going and now you're getting into a realm of malnourishment, overtraining, or something else that's going to throw you off and make you unhealthy. And you got to start back up and you got to gain the weight back because now you're underweight, you're undernourished, you're overtrained, you're hurt all the time, you're metabolically dysfunctional on the opposite spectrum. Instead of being overweight, now you're under everything else. Weight loss isn't going to get you where you want to go in the long term. The solutions that you're following just to lose weight are not sustainable. And you need to understand that the truth of the matter is there is no such thing as a healthy weight. 
because health isn't determined by how much the scale says you weigh. Health is determined by how well your body functions. If your body, you ready for this guys? If your body is functioning optimally, it will weigh whatever it weighs. Nobody can tell you what that weight is until you figure it out for yourself. Right now, I feel like I am at a place where I am optimal for the amount of effort I want to put in to my body composition. I'm currently at about 17% body fat, 202, 200 pounds. The lowest I've been while I've been following an animal-based whole foods diet, mostly, mostly animals, 90% plus animal meat, basically what we call carnivore. The lowest I've been while following this nutrition plan and doing CrossFit was 168. That's three pounds heavier than I was when I graduated high school in my mid forties. 168 at 8% body fat was, that was ridiculous. I was not happy. I felt fantastic about how I looked. Obviously I, I like being a little heavier. I, I, I felt like I didn't look, you know, as muscular and, and big in, in size. I want to be bigger. I like being around 200 pounds. But I was ripped. The level of effort it took to get there, not sustainable. I don't want to do that all the time. I eased up a little bit. I backed off some, went from eight to about a 10, between 10 and 12 average. Did that for a long time. I did that for many years, maintained between 10 and 12%. Realized, you know what? I don't need that either. Like I feel okay. Did not feel the best, not necessarily from how I felt in my body, not necessarily from my energy and my ability to perform any of that kind of stuff. That was all pretty good. The amount of effort in my lifestyle that I needed to maintain that level of body composition was more than I, than I felt like I wanted to put into it. So when we were talking about where I'm at now, I track some, I don't track forever. I don't track a lot. Every once in a while I track just to kind of see if I'm maintaining where I want to be and what my, my normal average intake is. Um, but I'm, again, I'm about 17%. It's a healthy number my weight has ended up around 200 pounds. I feel like I'm optimal right now. Optimal, not just in my performance and my health. All my blood work is good. My physical performance is great. I'm still getting stronger. I still recover great. I'm sleeping fantastically, but also optimal in my lifestyle, the impact of what I'm doing, how I'm maintaining my health and fitness with my life and my schedule and my routine, with my job, the business, the speaking, the book writing, the making videos, the working with clients and managing the programs that I have, all the different things that I have in my life, it's keeping my time that I have valuable that I set aside for, for Coach Nat and I to spend time with each other, all those things balance out with what I'm doing to maintain my health and fitness and how my body is feeling and how I'm performing is optimal for me right now. I'm at 200 pounds. That It is what it is. I can't control where my body ends up. I can control how I'm living my life. If you can separate your obsession with the scale and how much you weigh, your journey is going to be drastically different. It is going to look different. It is going to feel different. The way that you perceive what you're doing and how it's impacting your life is going to be different. It will not be as restrictive because you're thinking about how can I optimize my life, not my weight. Improving your weight is not going to improve your health. Improving your health will get you to the weight that your body, air quotes, wants to be at if you're optimal. If you can say, right, answer this question for yourself. If you can say, I'm sleeping great, I feel strong, I'm getting better physically, I have energy, I don't feel stressed over what I'm eating, I have the time to do the things that I want to do, I can enjoy activities with my family and friends, I don't have any health issues that I'm managing, I'm not taking medication and I am physically free to do whatever I wanna do because my body can do the things I need it to do. I trust my body, I am confident in my body, and I have no worries. What does how much you weigh matter? Who cares? If you get to a specific weight and you can't say yes to all those other things, did the weight help you? That's what I want you to understand when I say there is no such thing as a healthy body weight. It's not about how much you weigh, it's about how much trust do you have in your body's ability to perform and protect you? How much engagement can you have as a person, human being, physically independent and physically capable to do whatever you wanna do and to not have to say no to anything that life throws at you?